Uh, whether you want to pose for a picture with a raptor or have a face-to-face -face encounter with a brachiosaurus, the team at the Dome has you covered. Brian Cramp is seeing how they put together the art uh, all for a trip back to the Jurassic period. Good morning, Cramp. Super cool to see this transformation, you know, because this show dome gets turned over five times every year and it starts from scratch. Literally, there's sand in the ground, there's dirt like 20 feet down in some areas. Uh, but Mel, as a park artist, you get to transform it in your own special way, which is adding to the plants, adding to the models, which are dinosaurs, and then possibly decorating a gazebo. That's part right. of your gig too, right? <laughs> so the gazebo is like a classic English gazebo. So yeah. for dinosaurs, it didn't really fit in. So I had to kind of come up with a way to make it work, uh -huh. even though we're, you know, you don't have tiki huts in dinosaur land, but that we, we do know here. Of. You never <laughs> yeah. know. The dinosaurs might have, been, might have been great carpenters. Right, exactly. We, we don't know for a fact, but it is a true transformation. And you're working on this alongside the horticulturists, right. alongside those, those individuals that are really plotting and planning. So in this dome here, your hands have been on how many different things, would you say? Oh, everything that is prop related. Really? Yes. Okay, so, so signage, any, signage, anything like that. So you um, did the cute, like, uh, no riding the Stegosaurus? Yes. Okay. <laughs> triceratops. Yep, the Triceratops. Don't, don't stay off the trails because right. you might get stepped on by a dinosaur. Yeah, no diving into the no pond. No diving into the yes, pond. I love exactly. it. Exactly. So it was all that and more. Actually, as we turn around, we can see how massive the show dome is. If you've never been here before, shame on you. Uh, but do check it out during Dino Domes because it goes toward till the September 10th. But this mural changes every time there's a huge show in here. And this is you. You are the main reason that this exists because you got to do all the work. <laughs> exactly, but it's also a good place for everybody to come and take photos. Um, it represents the show. Yeah. So this gets changed with each show in that little time frame that we have to switch out the shows. Uh -huh. um, so I painted the backdrop and then I pre-made what is our logo. So I went off of the Jurassic Park original logo, okay. but I made it our own. There's a lot There's a lot going in there. Like yeah. I love the nuances. That if, you, if you look at that, you see the Triceratops that's breaking out of a shell, but what else are we seeing? You're seeing, um, well, it's a play on the Jurassic Park logo. So instead of a circle with a T-Rex in it and a skeleton, it's a triceratops for the three domes and the three horns. You've got a baby T triceratops coming out of an egg. Yep. And the eggs are reminiscent of the domes. So then I added three. So that looks like three eggs, three domes. And instead of Jurassic Park, it says Mitchell Park. You're clever. You, yeah. you, you are so clever. And at first glance, if you're just worried about taking that beautiful selfie, you're not going to notice all no, those things. No, no, so no. give yourself some time and check it out. I mean, this is what I love about this particular show, and that there are very subtle things that were done. Maybe sometimes, you know, inside jokes with the staff here. Right. Maybe <laughs> other times that they're more, more apparent to us as guests or kids. Because sure. when the kids are here, and you know this being a mom of an eight-year-old. You're doing this to make sure the kids have a good time and the adults have a good time. So Absolutely. is that difficult to pull off? Um, yes and no. Yeah. So you don't want it to be scary, right? You know, they're dinosaurs. <laughs> but at the same time, you do want it to be dinosaurs, yeah. right? So it's a nice um, balance of the two. We debated on doing like a naturalistic scene or if we wanted to go the more Jurassic Park Mitchell Park route. Yeah. Um, and we, you know, having a giant dome over us, almost like a modern cage. Yeah, it kind of felt totally, more like a Jurassic like it Park route. It couldn't get any better because yeah. it's a prehistoric and futuristic at the same time. Exactly. The yes. only thing that would make this any better is if we heard normal roars of dinosaurs or mechanical dinosaurs <laughs> <laughs> just clawing their way through the elements. We don't want to make it too realistic. Well, you know what? There we have some. We have another five years until this hits. Right. <laughs> Which, by the way, guys, the last time the Dino Domes hit at Mitchell Park Domes was 2018. So it's kind of been a while. Fox6now.com for more more information on this wonderful summer exhibit, the show. Uh, by the way, they are open today on Tuesday. Normally not open on Tuesdays. And uh, when we come back next, we're going to show you one of the reasons that they are open today. It's glorious. Oh, Thanks, Bill. That's you. Well, we are. In the